there is another issue that is very common for Poland and Pakistan if we look at the seriousness of the nature. Pakistan is dealing with a very dangerous border and mm -hmm. I'm talking about Pakistan and Afghanistan border. Right. 2600 kilometer long and uh, f filled up with all sorts of challenges mm -hmm. for the forces from the forces to common people like who are living inside the borders. But we are seeing the impact of these this poorest dangerous border. We uh, still were able to uh, cope up with many challenges after we built this uh, fence on the whole border. Mm -hmm. But still, how do you see that? How do you narrate the story that is happening in Poland and uh, like Belarus? Mm -hmm. You are also facing infiltration and uh, illegal crossings and things like that. So tell us something about that. Well. Uh we are talking about here about uh, another global uh, phenomenon, which yeah. is the increased uh, mm, uh, tensions between uh, major actors. Uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, we are talking about uh, uh, deepening, in, uh, you know, um, instability and then uh, uh, tensions uh, between uh, between countries. Mm -hmm. uh, so that all translates into. Uh, much more um, volatile, much more unpredictable and mm. uh, dangerous uh, international um, en en environment. So uh, yes, this is, uh, this is a global phenomenon, but you're right, uh, this phenomenon um, uh, has had uh, the kind of regional incarnations, if I may put it yeah. that way, in, c in case of Poland, that would be f first and foremost uh, this um, uh, uh, unprovoked illegal war uh, uh, of aggression uh, uh, against Ukraine by the Russian Federation mm. uh, that has impacted uh, uh, Poland's um, sense of uh, uh, security mm. um, uh, a great deal. Also uh, exerted uh, lots of, uh, you know, uh, costs uh, in in terms of uh, human exper experience, in terms of of, of of the economy, but also the, um, another global phenomenon, which is this uh, 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 huge uh, migration waves, and, and uh, we have experienced um, uh, over the last uh, three years uh, a very tense situation on the Polish-Belarusian border. Um, I have. Uh, uh, just learned that uh, oh, uh, there um, uh, have been uh, more than 100,000 attempts of illegal crossing. It's just huge. It's, it's a huge. huge. It's yeah. a huge. Because we are talking here about an organized uh, and facilitated effort basically to destabilize uh, the European Union. And this is uh, some sort of, uh, uh, of the hybrid um, uh, war. Uh, we call it in this uh, you know, current parley of uh, uh, you know, uh, mm, uh, political uh, uh, um, experts, foreign, uh, foreign policy um, uh, experts. Um, so this is, you know, using this uh, kind of natural um, uh, desires or, or, or reasons um, on behalf of many people who have found themselves in a dire situation to, to, to uh, seek a better life in a, in yeah. a different place. And take this and use it as a as a, as an instrument in a political uh, struggle. Exactly. And this is very this is very disturbing. So uh, how do you how do you compare the both situations of Poland and Pakistan? Because when I I, um, I usually see reports from uh, EU countries or other countries when Pakistan talks about sending back the illegal mm -hmm. illegally residing uh, foreigners in Pakistan. Let's. Uh, go around about it. So right. when uh, it's about Pakistan's step about sending them back to their home countries, uh, Pakistan comes under criticism that why they are evicting people mm -hmm. or they are asking people forcibly to go back uh, when you can truly correlate that uh, no country allows any foreigner or any illegally uh, a person who's trying to mm -hmm. cross border illegally or coming in, uh, into a country or living there. So how do you compare that situation with pakistan is now do you see that pakistan is uh, right in doing so mm. or uh, what's your idea on that well i see a certain um, uh, parallels of, of of course uh, first is that uh, both our, our countries have uh, experience uh, of um, being in the neighborhood of a major military conflict yeah. and as a, uh, and that you know yeah. creates uh, uh, certain um, 
uh, unwanted um, or certain challenges. Challenges. Yes. Uh, th that's that's uh, you know that's number one. Number two, you write uh, serious countries uh, should be in a position to manage their borders yeah. and uh, should uh, exercise uh, 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 this power of deciding who who is uh, uh, you know let in uh, or not. Uh, because of different uh, uh, different reasons, um, of course there are also you know differences, uh, and the, the differences really stemmed from the you know from the um, uh, original um, situ situations. In case of Poland, you know uh, we have uh, admitted um, uh, millions of Ukrainian uh, refugees. Yeah. Uh, people, uh, f uh, you know, are fleeing uh, from uh, uh, from um, a country which uh, became uh, 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 basically a, a target of an aggression, and they've been, um, you know, uh, welcomed with open hearts and and, and and open door, open doors. We still have around one million of of, of those refugees. Oh. Uh, they are, you know, they are uh, they enjoy. Uh, all rights related to the mm. access of the labor market, uh, health system, or, or educational yeah. system. Of course, it has uh, put some costs, some burdens on 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 our institutions. But it does exactly as, because as, as, we as well. we have almost forty years of experience of yeah, of much, of kind much longer than, than, than <laughs> we do. Yeah. Much longer. Yes, exactly. Yeah, um, but then. Uh, uh, the uh, phenomenon I mentioned before, is, this is this illegal crossing of the uh, of, of the Polish-Belarusian border, yeah. is, is a little bit different because uh, that wave is uh, organized, is, is facilitated by state uh, by states in our neighborhood, mm -hmm. basically by allowing people to come to their countries uh, quite easily, uh, legally on their visas. Exactly. And they just shown the, uh, the direction to the Polish border, which is uh, basically the first uh, uh, European Union's border, and and we know that Poland is not their final destination. Yeah. They, it, it's it's uh, uh, it's a gateway to EU. It is a gateway, yeah. uh, um, but we are first. Uh, hmm. So uh, it also uh, uh, shows you how geography can be very tricky. How geography can can, can does, you know exactly. uh, can can change because this is not a natural. If you if if you wish. These are not natural um, routes that uh, uh, people or migrants uh, have taken for many, many years to Europe. This is quite new. This is exactly. this is a little bit, uh, you know, uh, off the beaten path yeah. of, of the of the migration uh, uh, routes and completely artificially created crisis. Right. Mm. It's it's very interesting because I found so many similarities between. Uh, like having these uh, cases as a study for both the countries because we are also facing the same thing on the borders we are trying to curb mm. on this infiltration and uh, uh, human smuggling and every sort of smugg smuggling and that's why Pakistan is right now discussing uh, the curb on illegal spectrum in Pakistan right. because it is affecting almost every walk of life of Pakistan specifically economy mm -hmm. because you mentioned economy and uh, yeah having uh, millions of people as refugees or uh, people who are living in the sh in, in the disguise of refugees, mm -hmm. uh, enjoying every facility because uh, you might not have seen such examples in other countries that all the refugees they are allowed to go anywhere in Pakistan. They can have mm -hmm. their properties. They can have they can live a life like every Pakistani is living. 